Hello. These instructions are for installing the tongue and groove wall kit. This kit is suitable for a span of 2 meters. However, it can be cut down for shorter runs. If your run is greater than 2 meters, you will need additional kits. Before you begin, please ensure you have all the components listed. Make sure you have the right tools for the job. You will need a tape measure, a pencil, a level, some adhesive, a saw, a nail gun, a jigsaw, and also a drill with a 12 mm bit. Start by applying adhesive to the back of a panel. Starting from the left-hand side, offer the first panel onto the top of the skirting and up against the wall, ensuring that the panel groove is facing the adjacent wall and the tongue is to the right-hand side. Use a spirit level to check that it's vertical. Repeat this procedure for the remaining panels, ensuring the tops of all panels are flush. If you have a power socket on the wall, then install the panels up to where the socket is and then measure the location and size of the socket and transfer the measurements to the next panel. Drill holes in the corners and then use a jigsaw to cut out the hole for the socket. Tidy up the edges with some sandpaper and then apply adhesive to the back of the panel, install and continue the run. When you reach the end of the run, chances are that you are going to have to cut the last piece in order for it to fit. Do not apply adhesive to the second to last panel at this stage. Offer the dry panel into position and measure the distance to the wall. Cut the last panel to size. Remove the second to last panel and offer the cut piece into it. Apply adhesive to the back of the panels. Offer the panels at an angle into position and press into place. Cut the decorative and capping moldings to length. Offer the decorative molding to the front of the top strip so that the top of the molding is flush with the top of the strip. Secure it using a nail gun. Offer the capping mold on top of the decorative molding and top strip and secure it using a nail gun. Once all your panels are on the wall, fill any gaps and joints with decorator's cork, wiping away any excess with a damp cloth. Fill nail holes with filler and sand to a smooth finish. Once the decorator's cork has dried, you are now ready to paint. Once it's painted it'll be time to stand back and admire your work.